Hello, this is iOS 10 expert, and today I'm just want to talk about my iPhones here, and why you ask me why do I like iPhones so much? It's only because when I collect the four, and it helps me so I can learn more about the devices, so I can explain it to you from an, in other videos. That's why I collect iPhones to see what it was like on the older versions compared to the newer ver version we have now. Like. During I when the older OSs were out like 3.0, it didn't even have it did not even have folders or the new dock or anything like that, and it did not have all inboxes or or other things like Bing for Safari. That came in iOS 4 because the 3G didn't even support multitasking. That's why for the iOS 6, was well, the first one to get Passbook and stuff like that in the privacy tab. That we know about now in setting like privacy and do not disturb. Those came in iOS 6 in the Bluetooth tab that got moved out from the Thanks General Pane and the Apple Maps. In the weather UI redesign, those all came in iOS 6. In the Polder Fresh and Mail came in iOS 6. In iOS 7, it got the whole entire UI redesign with the with, with control center. All those cool things then. And pull the search and all those cool features. And it got it a new the multitasking redesign here. And iOS 9 got all this cool new stuff like Apple Music and all that. And search settings, notification right here. Low power mode, six digit passcode. All those great features. And with the Siri UI changed like this, see how Siri looks like Apple Watch now? That came in iOS 9. It was really cool back then. And in iOS 9, we first one introduced HomeKit, which I don't have that right here. And news came in, and the transit for the maps, and voice, and the the maybe who it may be if you get some from under number, the maybe who it is. That came in iOS 9. And same for the wallet. And stuff like that, and find my friend that found my iPhone pre installed in the iPhone now. That came in iOS 9. It's really cool. Let me adjust my camera here. There I go. So, everything like this came in. Ian introduced Night Shift, which it doesn't have on here, but I have it on this one Night Shift. Watch iOS 10 over here. And for but plus, I missed them in iOS 8. Let me turn this around so I can get the right one here. Sorry about that. I'm going into my little contact here so I don't see my personal info here. But if you see here, iOS 8 was the one to bring this one, one right here too. And iOS 8 was the first one to bring the predictive quick type into there. It's really cool. And the iOS 9 first one bring new emojis. Sorry about my sign language. Sorry for that sign language keyboard. Wrong one. It's really cool. And like Siri can create a minor that says, remind me to get the coffee off the roof of my car when I get in. That's what Siri can do. And in iOS 9, when you plug in your headphone jack, it pops up the music right on your lock screen. Which I cannot show you, because I don't have headphones plugged in right now. It's really, really cool. And iOS 10 brought this whole bunch of great features. Like redesign messages, saying it's saying all digital touch and all that, and redesign control center. All that, if you're wondering why I'm missing one of them, because I removed the calculator app for my storage issue. But great news is I'm getting my iPhone 5 finally fixed this Tuesday. Then my iPhone 6S replaced this Wednesday. If you're wondering why I'm getting my 6S replaced, because it still has a storage issue, I'll show you. Like when I go to general storage and usage, right here, 127 with 57 gigs. If you look here, I have no apps, just the ones Apple pre-installed in there. I have no apps down from the app store, nothing. Not even photos, nor passes or health, nothing. Just my Apple Watch spared up, that's it. That is because created too many junk files. Please tell Apple to fix this in iOS 11. And fix this in the next iPhone, the junk files creating bug. Like where the thing creates junk files. Because I've had to replace my iPhone 5 once before because of a defective battery. Because I've had, I've replaced my iPhone 5 before. Because I had my first one had a defective battery, so we replaced it for free. Exactly what we're going to do this one, a defective A9 chip processor. You know the new lock sound? And with Race to Wake, that came in iOS 10 and 
Perez home to open in this widget pane here and swap take at your camera. All that came in iOS 10. And 3D Touch to clear all notifications out. That came in iOS 10. Now the iPod Touches. It's way more interesting on the iPod Touches. But if you see here on 3.1.3, .3, you had no voice memos, nothing. Like the iPhones here. Oh wow, I just found this out. If you double tap your screen, you'll zoom into something like this. I did not see that coming. So when you're recording video on the iPad, it's double tap and you'll zoom right in. I just found that out. See how this one had no messages from iOS 3 or 4, but iOS 5 got the messages for iPod Touches. And let me show you something very interesting about this iPod Touch here. I mean, going to journal all of them right here. Fetch on these, the usage tab for the iPod Touch didn't come to iOS 5. Look at that, 3 and 4, nothing, but iOS 5 got usage. And iOS 5, where well, the first one gets software update over the air updates. Really cool, huh? And the first one to get location and services put out to the main tab right here. Like here. Then iOS 6 on the Apple Touch 4th gen, where well, the first one get Bluetooth put out there and privacy. It's really cool. And iOS 5. Well, the first one get iCloud and Twitter integration and Notification Center, which we don't have on the other ones. But if you're wondering about the multitasking, there was a control center in the older devices, like multitask can like swipe over. You'll have this little orientation lock. It's been there ever since iOS 4. And iOS 5 was the first one to get new stand or reminders and music and videos separate from the iPod and the iPhone. You see the iOS 6 and music from videos, but on iOS 4, nothing. This is one iPod. That game separate in iOS 5. And the iPhone 4S or the first one to get panorama photos. Cool, huh? And the first one to get Siri. Because on the iPhone 4, you just had voice control. Like that. Voice control didn't come to iPhone OS 3, if you're wondering. Well, that's it for this little video. If you liked the video, give the video a thumbs up. And comment below for more iOS review and see what the older OS is like, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh, and please tell your friends about my channel, and please tell them to subscribe, because I need more subscribers to make my videos better. So please give this channel, and please, everybody, subscribe to this channel, and tell your friends to subscribe if they have not. Now, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.